My name is Oscar Hernandez. I'm 22 years old. I am the park ranger for Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge. I work on the outreach team as our Latinx family liaison for the refuge. And I started back on December 4th, 2020. So it's only been less than a year since I started in my official position with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Before I had my internship with the Mano Project, I had been working in retail spaces and at zoos. And while I enjoyed the jobs that I had, it wasn't giving me the skills that I needed to get further in my career. That was until I found this internship opportunity through the Mano Project, doing what I've been wanting to do and having the tools and the resources and the support that I needed to get that experience. And the, my internship through Mano has bumped my resume up to where I was able to apply for a federal position and find permanent work thanks to the skills that I had learned through my time with Hispanic Access Foundation. Being Latino and growing up in a Mexican household, that's such a huge part of who I am as a person. But my passion has always lied in being outdoors and working with wildlife and working with people. So for me to have this opportunity to work in that setting, working outdoors with wildlife and with people, and being able to do that with my community, it's just something that I can't ask for more. It's been an amazing opportunity to be able to combine those two things that I love so much about myself into one job, and I don't think I can find anything better. Definitely one of my favorite memories of being with the Mano team and Hispanic Access Foundation was finding for the first time a network of other Latinos who were just as passionate about the same things that I was. I had never had that kind of support group growing up, and so when I started my internship, I got connected to all these people all around the country that were also interested in wildlife and conservation, but also had that same background that I did that looked like me and they talked like me and we had some, so much of the same experiences and I didn't have that growing up. So that support and that network has been invaluable for me and I learned so much from other people and it just made me more confident in the work that I've been doing and I don't think I would be able to continue on if I didn't know that there were other people like me in similar positions uh, doing the work that I'm doing. Without Hispanic Access Foundation, I would have never had the tools that I needed to gain the skills and experience for the position that I wanted. So for that, I will be forever grateful to Hispanic Access Foundation. I've enjoyed working with them in the past and I look forward to continue working with them in the future as well.